Do you like having all of your information right in front of you in a collaborative software where you can make pretty much anything that you want happen from a note taking, brainstorming, and overall information management standpoint? Good, because this video is sponsored by Xtiles and I'm gonna dive right into what this app has to offer for you. So first and foremost, Xtiles is a visual note taker that helps you gather information about something and then make it usable. It is a freemium software. When it comes to the pricing of Xtiles, you have a few different options. So there are monthly and yearly options. And first of all, the monthly options are a little bit more pricey, but the personal free gives you easy sign up, 100 megabyte file uploads, up to 300 tiles, the ability to sync across devices and unlimited viewers and editors. Now the personal pro essentially just makes it so that you have unlimited file uploads and tiles. And then the believer is somebody who is going to be on the forefront for the application and has first access to new features, community calls with teams and priority support for $300 for five years. Now the personal pro is good for somebody who really wants to use this app to the full extent and it's a little bit cheaper on the yearly option with $96 a year. So that averages out to $8 a month instead of 10. So first and foremost, just to get you started from scratch, if you wanna make a new page here, you have a bunch of different options for grids. And obviously these are different tiles, so you can make different tile layouts from scratch, but I'm gonna do a blank one just to show you, first and foremost, the fact that it does give you a nice little tutorial here to show what you can do regarding making tiles. So. Let's do what it shows here. And we made a tile. So tile commands like changing color, coding, copying, and deleting are available here. And you can also drag and drop tiles by the header. So this format is really nice because you can visualize your data and change the way that it is here. So if I did in like a video ideas section, and then if we notice here, there is markdown functionality. I did a backslash and we have text heading quotes, dividers, tables, similar to what we have in Notion and other applications like that, it is really nice. We can even do different colored panels here and banners, which is sort of like callouts in Notion. Actually, I'm gonna change this to having different sections. So Notion, and then we can do a little green callout, productivity apps, and then we can do a yellow callout, productivity tips. And then if I wanted to duplicate this, I definitely could, and I can do something along the lines of making podcast ideas, maybe even newsletter ideas. Then if I wanted to delete any of these, I could easily press on this, delete it, or I can turn it into different text, or even something along the lines of this. If I wanted to, let's say, make a new tile here and say, quotes for use. I can do slash quote and then pop in anything that I'd like. Here's a little Cal Newport quote for you. So I could basically use this as a vision board for content ideas. And then what I can do is make it so it's like self-help, productivity, personal finance, and section things off in a way where I can have different checklists. And then another nice thing about this application is that you can actually add different tabs. So if we go here and put a different section like content inspiration. I could make something with an example grid here and have a bunch of different tabs that I could then go through rather than needing to ever really scroll down a bunch on this application. You kind of just get to interact with these top sections here. So actually if I really overhaul the whole idea, what I could do is have this be YouTube and then this be content or sorry, and then this be podcast and then this be newsletter. Just make this guy a blank space. If I wanted to also get rid of these, I could copy this, move this over here, delete this, copy this, move this over here, delete this, and then do the same thing with the quotes. And then maybe even drag this to the side here. As you can see, you can pretty much drag it anywhere you want on the screen. And then I could duplicate and be like, videos I'm creating. And do the similar style of like podcasts I'm creating, newsletter I'm creating, and then even if you wanted a finished video section. Now, just so you're aware, you can also make the color of the tile an entirely different color by going to those three dots and changing it to whatever colors you want. So it is nice in the fact that you can do that. And then you can also have the option to hide the border as well. We're back to showing the border. And then a really cool thing about these tiles is the fact that these are actually draggable and droppable between different sections. So perfect example would be, say I had an idea to make a video on X tiles that I put right here at the start. Okay, then I'm currently creating it. And then when I finished editing it, I could move it over here. 
And just as an aside, if I were working with somebody on something like this, say I even had like a script for something, right? And I had this video be a sub page, what I could then do, as you'll see here, just to point out if I go back to constant ideas, if I turn this into a sub page, I could have the actual script within this. So if I did script example, and I worked with the person who then approved this video, I could have different examples. Like I always go through pricing and then features and then maybe keyboard shortcuts and then maybe just showcasing brainstorming or something that to that effect. And then if I were to go to back here, what happens is I can turn these different bullets and stuff like that into sub pages. So then I could interact with this really easily by saying like, okay, I, I could make a list of different video ideas like click up first notion. Obviously that's going to be here. I can put in a couple more bullets as examples. So notion video example. And then as I'm working through these different steps, I can turn it into a sub page and then make an example script here, example, example, you get the point, and then I could have reference materials over here. I could quickly create a setup where basically my content ideas is completely working for me because I am going to be able to have sub pages within it, go across the different platforms really easily, and not really have to do much scrolling in order to get information done and worked with. Now, that's just an example of how you can interact with some of this stuff as I showed you, but a really nice example would be, say you're writing an article, and you had a bunch of different links to different references and then you had notes on that subject and then you could write it out. This is a perfect example of how you can utilize those different steps to then create a blog post. So the research is all here, right? And then from there we go to the structure of the article, which then would say, okay, here's the introduction that I would have. Here's some different links to how to publish on Medium. As can be seen, there is a complete embed functionality in this application with images, with links. And then if we press down here, we can show more and actually see that there are limits to what shows on the tiles maybe, but you can go and type within the tile as much as you would like. And then it would shrink a little bit, which is nice for condensing of data purposes. So having a structure built out like this would be nice for an article after you already did your research. And then the last part would be actually writing the article itself and having the final article. So this is a nice different way to have ideas then go into actual creation itself. This is snappy. This is quick. This is functional. This is X-Tiles. If you enjoy X-Tiles, make sure to go click that link down below and get it. I thank them again for sponsoring this video. And if you want to check out how to improve your productivity even more, click right here. It'll happen.